For smooth transitions in painting, the most natural and intuitive way to do this is by blending. With oil paint, it's very easy because the paint stays wet. But with acrylics, blending has always been a challenge. Happily, with Atelier Interactive, blending is easy because it gives you multiple ways to do it. You can use your traditional acrylic painting techniques where you actually simulate the idea of blending by using a painting medium or with Atelier Interactive, you can actually prolong that drying time, control it to give you more wet time so you can actually physically blend the paint together. What you'll find when you're painting are basically three situations. First, you're painting and your paint starts to tack up and you want to keep blending during that time. Later, during that paint, same painting session, you want to go blend, but you find that your paint has already started to dry. And the last situation is maybe when it's later that day or a few days later, when you come back to consider your work and you're looking at it and you think, mm, I want to blend, but it's already totally dry. What do I do that? Well, this is where you have your choice of how you want to approach. And the following steps I'm going to show you are just some ways that you can approach the whole idea and techniques of blending. So the first situation that you'll encounter is as you are painting, you'll find that your paint may start to tack up. It may start to get a little bit sticky as you're painting. That's a perfectly natural stage during the Atelier interactive drying process. And basically, the paint is telling you that if you're in the process of blending like I am right now, all I need to do is just give it a little bit of moisture, either with a wet brush or using my water spray. And the paint will just go right back to its nice wet consistency so I can keep blending and keep getting that nice soft transition that I'm looking for. Now you can keep doing this the entire time during your session. As you are blending, when you feel your paint start to tack up and you want to keep working wet and wet, just give it a little bit more moisture. And if you don't, just stop, let your paint dry, and you can continue on your merry way using your standard traditional painting techniques. Now the next zone or situation that you will encounter is when you are painting during your session, but your paint has already dried because acrylics do dry quickly, including interactive. That's one of their best features. Now in this section over here, which I worked on earlier, it's already pretty much touch dry. So now at this point, if I wanted to do anything, I would just be over painting. And that's not what I want. I want to kind of soften this. I want to blend this in. At that stage, because it's only been within about the first half hour or so, I can still use some water. And I'll just use some water here. Return that moisture back to my paint. There we go. And the paint just opens right back up. So I continue blending and softening these edges and really work my color and my tonal transitions. And it's so wonderful to be able to do this. I don't have to be controlled by the fast drying nature of acrylics. I can do it as I need to, as I go along. However, your painting process in your own style works. Now I always like to tell artists that as you are painting during your session, if you get to a part of your painting like I did where your paint was, you know, touch dry, try using water first because you'll find that depending on your surface, your humidity, how thickly you've painted, what mediums you've added, it's all going to factor into how long water is going to work in reopening your paint and allowing you to keep blending. Another situation that you'll encounter is when it's hours later or even a few days later and there's a part of your painting that you want to continue blending. Like over here where it's touch dry, I don't like that at all. These edges are really just a little too harsh and a little too hard edged for me. I want to soften this section. Now, I could just overpaint with acrylics. I could use some of those traditional blending techniques using some mediums, or I can use the unlocking formula. And I'll just spray some unlocking formula. 
onto my paint and what you'll see is that the paint just opens right up. So now I can blend these edges in and just soften them. and work all this transition. So now my edges aren't so harsh and I can have a nice softer feel to this lamb versus the other sheep that I have here in my painting. Now how long does the unlocking formula work? Well, it's just like with water. It's all going to depend on your surface, your humidity, how thickly you've painted, what mediums you've added, but basically the unlocking formula will work up until the time that your painting has cured. In order to simulate blending using traditional acrylic painting techniques, there are a variety of mediums that you can use. A few of my favorites are the clear painting medium, the slow medium, the thick slow medium, and the acrylic glazing liquid. All of these mediums will help keep your paint open and reworkable for a certain amount of time, uh, but really the best way to see these differences first is to look at them in terms of viscosity. So I'm gonna pour out a little bit of clear painting medium, which is our mid viscosity medium, our slow medium, which is very liquid and our most rewettable of the mediums, our thick slow medium, which has more of a gel consistency, and our acrylic glazing liquid, which is a little bit more liquid than our clear, but not quite as liquidy as our slow. I'll add just a little bit here. What I'm gonna do next is add a little bit of color to these, so you can see how they look a little bit better than just having white or translucent mediums on top of a, of a white panel here. I'm gonna mix this up. Go. Add a little bit of color here. Get that mixed into this medium. A little bit of this here. And a little bit more of my quinacridone red violet and mix this into my acrylic glazing liquid. I'll stir all these up. Okay, let's kind of see how quickly they move. As you can see, clear painting medium with this mid-viscosity tends to stay put. Slow medium is definitely the most liquid of the mediums. Thick slow is definitely staying where it is as it's a gel. With the acrylic glazing liquid, it's definitely a little bit more you know, thinner, so it is getting a little bit of that, that drip down. So this kind of gives you an idea of what the thickness of the medium is, so you can choose what medium that you would like best. When you want to simulate the idea of blending with acrylics, one way to do it is to take some medium, and in this case I'm using the clear painting medium with its mid-viscosity, and apply it first to the area where your edges are. And what I'm doing is I'm applying the medium to my surface. And this paint is already dry and on its way to, to being cured. It's been sitting for a couple days and I've also sealed it using some of my fast medium fixer just to help keep it in place. And now what I want to do is soften this edge, and I'm doing it using a traditional technique. So I put down some of my medium. Now I'm going to take just a little bit of paint. Put some off here. A little bit of paint, much more medium. And I'm going to start over here, and you can see that I'm painting it into my medium. And as I take it out into the medium, you can see that it's increasing in its translucency. Notice how I removed some of the paint from my brush. If you find that it's just getting too much of the same color, that means that you need to remove some of that color from your brush. And I'm just 
gradually going back and forth, dipping my brush into some medium, taking it to extend some more of that color to really help soften that edge and give the idea that I've blended this whole area together. Kind of like glazing, where you're putting a, a layer of translucent color on top of another color. But in this case, I'm gradually taking some away to really give that idea of one color fading into the next. Another way to blend is involves overpainting as well as using some painting medium. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to first take a little bit of my colors, my light red ochre and my wand roulon, and just put some here. And I'm just going to kind of rework this whole area just a little bit so I've got some more wet paint. There we go. And you might be wondering to yourself, well, why would I want to do that? I'm just adding you know, more paint to it. Well, what you're going to be able to do next then using some medium is again be able to, to increase the translucency of those edges. There we go. The medium that I'm going to use in this case is the slow medium. Now you could use any of the other mediums. You could use the clear painting medium or the thick slow medium or the acrylic glazing liquid as you prefer, but in this case I'm deciding to use the slow medium. The slow medium is the most rewettable of all the mediums. You're going to find that thin layers, of course, always dry very quickly, but in this case, if you add slow medium to your paint, you're going to find that even when those thin layers dry, just a little bit of water is going to help take that paint right back to that wet stage so you can continue blending so you can continue working your edges, controlling your values. As you go along, you're going to find in that painting that you're probably going to use less and less medium and just more of that water sprayer because the effects are cumulative. So what I've been doing, as you can see, is just kind of dipping my brush into a little bit of the medium just to help it flow, to give it a little bit of the translucency. If I get too much paint or a little too much medium, I take some off. Again, I'm working both sides. I'm using a nice, soft, synthetic sable brush because I'm going for a very soft effect here. There we go. Back and forth. And these, again, are very traditional ways of how artists simulate the idea of blending those harsh edges together when you're using a traditional acrylic. And of course, it's something that you can also use with your Atelier Interactives because you can use them for traditional techniques as well. It is really a, an acrylic that has so many advantages because it offers so many different ways of approaching a painting. There really are not a whole lot of new techniques you need to learn other than maybe using a water sprayer when you need to. There we go. Take some, a rag, just wipe some off here. There we go. To help soften that, those edges a little bit more. Again, I'm using my medium to help give my translucency and gradually fade them off. So now this looks much softer. I don't have that hard edge. I'm really able to, to have this be a much more subtle transition, which is what I was going for with this edge. So there you have it. There are lots of different ways that you can incorporate blending into your paintings. Even if you're doing one that's using a lot of traditional overpainting, you can still get some of those soft, subtle transitions. Whether you decide to use your traditional ways of achieving blending by using painting mediums, such as the clear painting medium, the slow medium, the thick slow medium, or even the acrylic glazing liquid. Or you can use those interactive features of Atelier Interactive by using your water sprayer to actually re-wet your paint as you're going, to re-wet some dry paint, 
or by using the unlocking formula to help you blend your edges of paint that's already been a few hours or even a few days old. If you have any questions or you need some more information, please visit our website, which is www.promaonline.com.